Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to the first episode of One by One. Today I have a very special guest, your fellow Arab. Yo, how is it going my dude? Thanks so much for doing this. Yo, yo, what's up guys? Awesome, man. I'm so excited to have you on the show. So first and foremost, I want to give a quick intro to the show. It's just a kind of quick 10 minute talk, getting to know someone in the community. That my, my kind of goal is like the thing with BRs and like Fortnite and competitive BRs is just there's so many people. There's so many amazing people in the community and it's hard for not only like Epic and the productions and everybody around to uh, to kind of just get to know everybody and tell everybody's story. So I wanted to talk about you. So you're a fellow Arab, man. I, personally, I got to say you like I've just kind of seen an explosive like rise to um, you know you as a player and your branding. I kind of like, randomly caught one of your clips on a retweet on Twitter. I, I started asking questions. You know, I was like, "Who is this guy? Like, he's actually pretty good. He's funny." You know, I started watching the stream. I'm, I'm a bit of a lurker, so you may have only seen me in there like once or twice. But uh, uh, you, you know, go on ahead and tell us who who are you, man? What, what clip was that? If you don't mind me, uh, dude. I, I'm not. Sh I honestly can't remember. It was some. It was some like box fighting clip, and and you just totally outplayed like a, a duo or something. It was. I can't think of it specifically, but it was. It was nasty. Like I saw that clip, and I thought like I guess in my head I thought like I think this guy's like a content creator, or, like a streamer. And then I saw that clip, and I was like, oh man, this guy's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about myself, uh, I don't know, man. I just kind of always wanted to do this. I do computer engineering in school i fucking hate it i've always been the class clown you know from middle school to high school to college and then uh i was addicted to games at one point well i mean still am obviously but like I, at this point it's kind of turned into a job uh which is what i wanted it to turn into you know i was sitting there playing i used to play runescape and then from runescape i went into league of legends for six years and it was uh like for four of those years, I played competitive. I was diamond one ranked, diamond two ranked, and then even master at some point, which is like the top of the ladder if you don't know League of Legends. Yeah. And then uh, that game just kind of started making me depressed, man, because you play 45 minutes and then 20 minutes in, somebody leaves on your team because they rage quit. And then now your 45 minutes is ruined preemptively. And you know, the next 30 minutes is a waste because you're going to end up losing the game. And then so that rank pissed me off. So. I kind of just moved into Fortnite and I was like, yo, I'm playing this game. I had been streaming for a year, but it was only like 70 hours uh, a month, even like 20 hours sometimes a month, 30 hours. Uh, and then I was like, you know what, dude, I'm playing Fortnite all the time. I might as well just start streaming. So fun fact, uh, I think out of like all 2,500 hours I have on the game, only 10 are not streamed. So wow, that's actually insane. I made sure that if I was playing, I was live. Wow, that's really crazy. So uh, I mean, with Fortnite specifically, when when did you jump in? Are you OG? You kind of coming uh, through in the middle. Twenty eighteen, January twenty eighteen, I think it was like. Okay, so like uh, season two, season three. Yeah, season two, uh, right before the battle pass ended, uh, I got a notification. There's ten days left for the battle pass, and I was like, Yo, let me buy this shit. Yo, did uh, you get anything out of it? No, I didn't, bro. I got scared. <laughs> okay, I got so, scared. okay. I got, like, the so, blue listen, night. listen, listen, man. That's actually so <laughs> funny, dude. I can't believe this. Actually, I'm not even kidding. No cap, man. I, I did the same thing. I started playing February 2018. I bought the Battle Pass, and I thought you just got everything. That's what I so thought. So, I bought man. it. I played a little bit. I have the Blue Knight. Yeah, <laughs> it's all that's I got. It. That's fucking it's no all I the got, female dude. Blue Knight. Yeah. Uh, we got, we got Skamaz, man. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I wanted that so, Black Knight, bro. Dude, I know. I'm actually like so jealous now. And I mean, I don't even have some of like, I don't even have like the original floss or anything, man. It's tough. Um, so let, let's go ahead and jump into it. You know, you're a streamer, you're playing Fortnite. What are your, what are your kind of goals from here? I mean, because I, I, like, personally, I think you're, you're doing awesome, man. You're, you, you found your niche, you have your content. Well, you know, what's, what's next? What are your goals? What are you looking towards? Uh, so it's never been about money for me in streaming. Uh, you know, you can tell if you come to the stream, I don't really care. I don't want people to sub, you know, and spend their money where, you know, they're spending $5. Sure, they're getting emotes. I'm getting half the money. Uh, I want them to save their money, you know, like do that shit. I kind of just want people to spread the stream more so uh, mm -hmm. because I know that the money is going to eventually come from these bigger organizations, sponsors, you know, uh, teams, etc. So it's kind of just been about growing my brand on a viewership level. You know, everybody that comes in, uh, I've never asked for a donation. I've never asked for a sub. Like, I, and I'm not really a fan of that. That like, 
mentality that a few other bigger streamers have. I'm not going to name any specific names. You know, I don't hate those streamers, but like, yo, can we get 50 gifted subs in the chat? Oh, yeah, that's so sad. Because like, yeah, they're trolling, but they're not. But they but they know it'll they, bode results. They know yeah. somebody is going to get 50 subs because of that. So, uh, yeah, I've never really cared about that. I just want, I want people to laugh at what I'm putting out. Because like, to me, man, I grew up on Modern Warfare 2 and good man you know we're kind of desensitized to shit but like it's so much easier to live life like that because we actually get comedy i feel like like nowadays you can't really crack a joke without the whole yeah. world going crazy like dude I, I, I gotta i gotta randomly jump in and ask you how old are you 22 you're 22 okay see i'm a, I'm a little bit older in the community i'm 26 right but like a lot of the things are like the the sentiments are just echoed and mirrored so i, I definitely get what you're coming like from. like the other day i don't know if you saw poach got hacked yeah uh and they were like tweeting porn now they were tweeting like people being hung they were tweeting like the n-word all the time uh i don't know if you saw were you paying attention to yeah that? I, I saw it yeah and like some some at one point they tweeted at benji fishy and called him out or something and i was like all right guys like before this uh i was all right with it but like now you're like calling out our lord and savior benji fishy <laughs> you know as a joke and i started getting dms from like bigger people in the community i started getting like responses on that tweet dude what the fuck you're okay with like them saying the n-word and, ha and and hangings and posting porn. i was like no i'm not dude it's a joke you know like yeah like you can't post a joke anymore without being attacked by everybody yeah and I'm that's the thing about comedy man you, you kind of just have to like throw it out there like check yourself on it and then just like let the response roll in you know what i mean like yeah. hopefully it doesn't go too terrible which, and, and i'm know. a big connoisseur of like everyone should be able to be clowned on oh, yeah. you know, i make fun of myself all the time people come into this stream after a big host and i let them know i'm like yo you guys can say whatever the fuck you want you want to call me fat you want to say i got big titties you know like <laughs> You guys gonna say I'm not funny or I'm dog shit? Go ahead, you're not gonna be banned for it. So, so like my my thing is, I just I, I just want people to laugh, man. I want people to laugh at my shit. There's nothing that I enjoy more in life, like more than anything, is when people laugh at my jokes and when it's a genuine laugh. Like when I know that I just made somebody's day because something I said that was witty or a response to something, and then now they're laughing. That's right. good, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you definitely have the, like I said, you definitely have your niche, you have your content, but it, it's it's coming from like that, that like community building perspective right. and that and that like real personable perspective. I, might, and I think that's why it's it's doing so well. Yeah, I might not have even answered your question. Uh, what's next? No, you yeah, said. you did. You, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we we had like goals and kind of yeah, like yeah, what, so, you know, what do you, what's your vision? You know. So uh, I still got a year of computer engineering left, uh, hopefully. Uh, I realized college is a scam like halfway through, so yeah. I don't really wanna I don't really wanna do anything in that. It's kinda just for my parents at this point, you know, foreign parents. I gotta get a degree for them. But what's next, man, is just something in the entertainment industry. I've built a lot of connections. Uh over like three or four years I built a lot of connections. Yeah, you know, I used to work for Scarce. Uh oh, okay. using that I built connections as well. I got a lot of good friends in the industry. Um and I've never asked them for anything. I don't really use them as like a cloud thing. I just know that, you know, I have friends in the industry. I've now built a name for myself. It's not massive, but it's mm -hmm. on the rise. And, uh, you know, for the next few years, Twitch streaming is all I have planned. Twitch streaming, uh, YouTube as well. Maybe eventually turn into vlogging, but it'll be like, I'm not really a fan of like the whole vlogging mentality where you're with your friends and then you pull out a camera and vlog everything. Like that's just not yeah. my. I already stream my life 10 hours, 15 hours a day, you know? So like, I don't want to make everything camera. I want to have those genuine connections outside For of sure. the, outside of the scene. But what's next is just like, just Twitch right now, or if Twitch, grind, man. Or if Twitch grind. ends up, if Twitch ends up taking me down, Mixer, like I'm still <laughs> going to stream. Mixer, I was about to say, yeah. Like I'm still going right, to stream. Give me, yeah. uh, give me 30 seconds, your opinion, state of the game. I like it right now, dude. If they remove Max, I maybe like bring Shadows back because Chocolates are dog yeah. shit. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. All right, man. Well, hey, dude, dude, this has been absolutely awesome. I love that. Like, I, I actually feel like I learned more about you that I like now just from talking to you than just <laughs> from lurking in the streams. You know, your fellow Arab, where can we find you? 
you know, if not that you need any introduction, where do people find you if they don't know about you? Hey, dude, it's your fellow Arab on YouTube, Instagram. But the main thing, man, the main thing is Twitter. That's also your fellow Arab, but that's where all the funny shit comes out. Uh, Instagram and YouTube, I just got an editor making shit for me. It's funny. Nice. I mean, it's stream highlights and shit, but it's about uh, Twitter and then Twitch. I'm going to say your fellow era, but hey, if we're partnered in a week or two, because they still haven't answered my my <laughs> application, it's going to become Arab, dude. Nice, that man. Clean. Awesome, dude. Yeah. So so one thing I want to kind of coin for this show, and it's just a, like the funny sign off thing, answer how you want. Who is your Twitch TV crush or your streamer crush? Listen, so I can give you my, uh, <laughs> you want to know who the hottest streamer I think is, you're saying? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Like, yeah. like the hottest e-girl. Yeah. I mean, if that's, right. if that's how you want to take it, yeah, that's, it's how right, you want to take it. Uh, baby, I love you if you're listening to this, uh, but he's asking me who the hottest e-girl is and you're not a streamer, so <laughs> that's to my girlfriend. Um, so the hottest e-girl, it's gotta be St. Peach, dude. Okay. Well, yeah. What do All you right. think? Come on, right? Like, no, yeah. I mean, hey, I, I'm not, I'm not here to disagree, man. Okay, but you like, know, who do you put on? Because I'm gonna, I know some okay, people might you know, not I put guess, you on the spot. Right. I'm uh, gonna put you on no. the spot. Okay, hey, man. Episode one, jumping into it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's been Kitty plays for me lately. No, no lie, man. Okay, okay, that's fair. She, she's just so gorgeous, man. That's yeah, just, that's, that's my fair. thing. That's awesome, man. Well, hey, dude, thanks so much again for being <laughs> yeah. on the show. I, I, I'm Appreciate like I said, I'm just me. hoping to, I'm hoping to grow this thing out and just get to talking to other people. I'm not trying to take up a whole bunch of time, but hey, man, everybody in the community has a story to tell. Everybody's got something they're doing. We're all here, you know, kind of like chasing the same dream and doing something we love, and yeah, and that's kind of the that's kind of the goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's awesome. I appreciate you having me, man. This is uh, dope. I kind of came into this a little bit tired, but it was really <laughs> dope. So I woke up. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thanks again. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Do you feel your bones not shake? Do you feel the earth quake? Do you feel the fire inside of me? Do you see the sparks that I'm setting free? Does the beat take you over? You just